I now am the proud mother of three jumping spiders. Three regal jumping spiders. How did I wind up with three? And uh, that shit gets so rock hard, it's insane. So you have to be a little bit careful. I want something sexy. That's L-I-Q-U-O-R. Don't get it twisted. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Kitty Liquor. That's L-I-Q-U-O-R. Don't get it twisted. I'm your host, Cat Wonders, and this is episode 114. Now, this microphone... I think I can get away with that. <laughs> um, wow. I finally put up my Christmas tree. I feel like, yeah, this is okay. I, w I had to delete some content off my card, so I shifted the camera. Now I'm hoping that this is the right position. I can see myself, but these bright lights just blind me. So it's December and how exciting. I am definitely festive with my gifty earrings and maroon sweater. Also, my Christmas tree. Um, I. <laughs> it's funny because when all these lights are not on, the Christmas tree is much more vibrant and pretty. I added extra lights. I obviously didn't spend too much time tucking the extra strings of lights inside the branches. They're just sort of draped over top, but it needed something like a little bit extra. So, all right, 114, awesome. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with making the cocktail, uh, and this w is not an original idea. This was suggested to me by a fan, and it's very cute, and I'm excited. Wait a minute. What the? I'm missing something. Uh, I don't think it really matters, actually. So here's the idea. You have your glass, but this clear Christmas bauble... Christmas ball, Christmas ornament, which has been rinsed out, um, is what you put the liquid in and then you pour it into your glass like this. And today I'm gonna to be doing something very exciting. I'm going to rim the glass with candy cane. So we're just gonna have an adventure and probably make a big mess, but I got my big ass roll of paper towel ready to go um the flavor of this cocktail is going to be blood orange and raspberry so actually this candy cane it looks like peppermint or whatever you, it looks like um, but it's actually cherry flavored so these are from dixon's distilled spirits uh this is from their eight pack is it eight or ten um you can get like a nice little kind of taster pack of most of their spirits. Um, and I've tried the Blood Orange before. And the Wicked Raspberry have open downstairs. I can't remember. But um, this is a perfect measurement. One ounce each, I believe. 50 mils, just maybe over one ounce. It's going to be boozy. And I'm going to be Probably pretty lit by the end of this because I haven't had too much to eat today. <laughs> so stay tuned right to the end. Woo! I also know that there's like a little gap in my sweater. That I just need like a little... No. You guys are like, what are you doing? Don't close the gap. I won't. Um, okay, so this is going to be exciting. Now, I think the first thing I'm going to do is rim this glass with this peppermint. I mean, candy cane, not peppermint. I made a little icing to dip because I just don't think that like a lime rim or even an egg white rim is will be strong enough to hold the amount of candy cane that I want around the rim of this glass. So I just kind of went a little heavy and made just literally icing sugar and water. Um, so it's gonna be sticky and thick. Uh, I'm not gonna be eating it 
it's just for garnish, basically. So I covered it so that it wouldn't get rock hard on the top. I've made <laughs> royal icing before when I'm making like sugar cookies and de decorating cookies in general. And uh, that should get so rock hard, it's insane. So you have to be a little bit careful. Okay, so here is the icing, sugar and water. Um, I'm gonna put these little bits of candy cane in the bowl. It even sounds festive. Uh, okay, and I'm just going to dip this in this. I don't know, I'm like nervous. <laughs> I'm gonna screw it up. I'm gonna dip this in this. I'm gonna get a good amount of icing on there. Give it a chance to kind of settle. Then I'm really gonna give her here. I want the most festive rim in existence. Okay. Oh, is it gonna work? I think so. Do I need to hold it like this? <laughs> Damn it, do I have to wait for it to dry? No! I don't have time for this. I should have pre-rimmed it. We're back online. <laughs> I accidentally unplugged my audio cord, but now we're back. Okay, so, um, I think this is gonna be fine. Here we go. That looks festive and lovely and all that good stuff. Let's put this stuff over here. Now, <laughs> we have to fill this puppy up. And luckily I had like a little cocktail kit that came with a little funnel. So I can use this <laughs> to dump all my ingredients in. So this is what I'm gonna be putting in here. Um, the raspberry and the blood orange vodka, and then a little bit of pearlescent powder to give us some glitter, and then some cranberry juice. And I think that's gonna be just perfect. So I need to hold this the whole time because, oh, I also have some like little cherries for garnish. You know, I might use this dish to hold this. My kitty dish to the rescue. Can you kind of see? Okay, I'm going to, I don't know how much room is gonna be in here, to be honest. This is how much cranberry juice I have. One thing I wanna make sure is that I really squeeze all this booze into this <laughs> Christmas ornament. Let's see how this works. Okay. I think we're gonna have space. One. I love little miniature shots. You know what I mean? Like you can like rip them out of the party. You can honestly take like wire and hang these on the Christmas tree. <laughs> these would make really fun party ornaments. Like almost if you had a a little centerpiece. So you have like a party and then you have a buffet kind of cheeses and crackers and deviled eggs and all the good stuff. And then in the middle is a tree with a bunch of little hanging shots. In fact, I saw some hanging shot or some um, like Christmas ball screw tops that you could put alcohol in, like make your own little mixtures. That would be super cool. Okay, I'm gonna drink a little bit of this. This is gonna be too much. And you know when something's too full, you can't pour it out. That's kind of the situation. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of this edible shimmer dust. You don't need much. I'm just gonna put it, ooh, put it right in. That's gonna give us a little bit of a shimmery effect. Now I'm going to add the cranberry juice because the funnel is 
really small, I have to be kind of slow. Pretty! Yay! Okay, so now I have to add the ice, the berries, and I have a little sprig of rosemary, just for, not for flavor, just pure aesthetics. And then I'm gonna add a lime sprig, a sprig of lime to stick with the green and red theme, even though these limes are, oh yeah, they're pretty green. I also have to make sure it's gonna fit in there. It's gotta, I gotta grab a little one. That one's not very pretty. <laughs> mm, okay, there we go. This is the one. Oh, these smell so good. Okay. Okay, so I, I bought this ice cube maker and it makes round ice cubes. So let's get it in here without busting up our rim. Beautiful. I'm going to add my, these are cherries from like a moonshine jar and my sprig of rosemary. <laughs> like, what is this called again? <laughs> now, I'm going to give this a little mix, if I can. And then, this is how you serve it. <laughs> so I did have the top, so it would look a little bit more like a an actual ornament, but I think it's kind of cute, like even off to the side. Look at it! This is like, I'm really, this is about to collapse. So the whole aesthetic of it is to pour it in. Should I film this with my camera? <laughs> I feel like I should probably film something because this is like, do I ever put this much effort in? I don't know. <sighs> Let me just put on a filter. Holy shit. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh my God, this gap. All right, here we go. It's more festive looking from the top. All right. Doing two things at once, holy crap. Did I save it? No, I didn't. Save, okay, done. Okay, you guys. This is pretty festive and would be adorable at a party. And I would just recommend like pre-rimming the glasses just so that it's not all leaking down. Like literally is drying as we speak. Let's try it. Ooh. Wow. That is, uh... okay, so the raspberry and the or blood orange, like the flavor together is really good, but it's tasting like something that I can't explain. Um, hmm. Let me think about it. Very good. Super good. I think um, maybe could use like a little bit of simple syrup, like just to sweeten it up a little bit because the cranberry juice is like sugar-free <laughs> or it's not sugar-free, it's, it's diet. So it's very light um, sugar. But do you think I can put those back there? I think I'm gonna have to wait. I don't think I can do it right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's getting so dark so early and it's very confusing because I don't know, like my brain has a hard time adjusting to the time. Like it feels like it's later than it is. Like right now it's 3.45 p.m. I'm filming later than usual just because I had 
shit to do this morning, but I uh, it feels like it's like 6 p.m. I've messaged three people today and none of them have gotten back to me. <laughs> and normally they kind of do. And I'm like, are my texts going through? Like thinking way too much about it. Does it ever happen to you where you're like, there are days that go by, you're like, no, I like nothing has really worked out <laughs> at all. Uh, anyway, that's for another day. That's story. Uh, but I'm really enjoying this. This is bringing joy to my life. Like lots of joy. And I'm also realizing that this concoction of like just sugar, powdered sugar and water is the best material for rimming a glass. If you want like the white kind of look. Okay. Um, so I was going to shoot a video unboxing some of these things, but I don't want to wait until I'm ready to film another unboxing and I'm, it's December. So I want to unbox it here with you. I have a little story behind this and then a little funny story to add. But I was in Spain and they had a Christmas store there. Similar to Banff where they have like an all, round, all year round Christmas store. My favorite Christmas store is in Banff. I think it's called The Christmas Store. Um, you can go there any time of year. It's very Christmassy, super just festive and awesome. I save going to the Christmas store for my family trip there, um, which is before Christmas, so it's perfect timing. And anyway, <laughs> I got off track there. Um, but when I was in Spain, there was a Christmas store, uh, right? I think it was, we, we were in, it was Barcelona. And uh, of course, there's so many shops and I got sucked into this Christmas store and I was like in there for like an hour. And I was just looking at everything. And European Christmas stores are next level. Like, I feel like that it has a similar vibe to the Christmas store in Banff. Um, but I'm talking like Christmas to the ceiling, like vaulted ceilings, Christmas. There's like anything you could ever imagine. Christmas. S Christmas spoons. Christmas cookies. Christmas shirts. Christ there might as well be like a Christmas vehicle in there, like a car, like Santa's car, <laughs> like everything, but a Christmas version. So it's, it's kind of like, it's very, very, very distracting and magical when you know Christmas is around the corner because we went to Spain in October and it's like a couple months, Christmas is here. And I, the, I only bought two things from this Christmas store. I'm going to show you right now. One. And two. These are just adorable little ornaments that are so finely detailed. Like there's even little cuts where the wood fits together. The back has little shutters. And the like when you order or sorry, when you buy things that are like miniature, the details are always lacking. It's like one eyeball's here, one eyeball's there. The paint has gone over to the other side. It's but this is done so well. And I just kept looking at it going, I there's something about this that I just absolutely love. And it's the colors, everything. Then I have the second one that I bought, this little angel. And she's feeding the birds. And it's just so precious. And look at how, look at how the tree is like housed into the bottom piece of wood here. It's not glued on. There's not glue strands everywhere. Like this is handcrafted quality. And so I just kept looking at it. And then I was like, what am I like? I don't know if you can see, but I got to show you up close. The angel is holding a little basket of something. Individual little tiny pine cones or seeds or chestnuts or whatever. But you don't see a strand of glue. It's just, and her face, her face is adorable. And the birds and the bird house. <laughs> so anyway, I got home. So I think it's uh, Schluter or no, this is Graupner. Handmade 
in Germany. And Graupner. Graupner? I don't know. That's kind of like, maybe that's more Dutch than German, but I went online and I ordered a ton more. Now, the funny part of the story is, <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I talked about Edelweiss Village in the last episode, um, but there's a store in Calgary called Edelweiss Village, and it is like a German store. German cookies, German baking, German, like every, like even down to like laundry detergent and things that you can only get in Germany. There's also some Dutch stuff as well. There was like a section where I could buy all of like the classics um, that I grew up with. So I... It's crazy, and I think, too, it just could de <laughs> it depends on it for me if it's, like, that time of the month. I was, I, like, kind of broke into tears a couple different times in that store just because, like, I just was seeing stuff that I haven't seen for a long time, like, since I was, like, at my Omanova's house for Christmas or something. So it was just really nostalgic for me, and almost, like, part of my DNA was, like, recognizing things that I didn't even know existed you know like I don't know if there's some truth to that but there were certain sections so I'm like trying not to get emotional just now just remembering being in the store I don't know if there are like things that my Oma used that maybe I don't remember her using that like my my brain has a visual memory of it but I don't have an actual memory of it you know what I mean it's, it's so sounds so weird but I don't know if the brain works that way but I was just like wow I was really just wishing that I could spend hours and hours and hours going through every section was my kind of I was kind of I wasn't rushed but I had to kind of get in and out so I go, I go look around and then I get to the cuckoo clocks and I've always wanted a cuckoo clock my my opa was a uh, he fixed clocks bit of a watchmaker, jeweler, and they always had this tall um, clock, like a grandfather clock in the entry of their house. And, you know, like wh when we were kids, it was just normal to hear it go off. And I haven't heard that in a long time. And cuckoo clocks are not the same as a grandfather clock, but it just had the same kind of feeling like knowing when the hour was the hour. <laughs> every half hour I don't know I think you set them but um the idea of something I think my opa had a, a form of a cuckoo clock at some point where the little people came out and certain and it was just so like <gasps> magical as a kid like there's little people living in there and they kind of come out and they come alive and as a kid that's like the coolest thing ever and I don't I don't think my opa and oma had an official cuckoo clock but I could be wrong. I it might they might have at some point. I'm just too young. I was too young to remember. But what a neat thing! And I thought so. Anyway, I'm I'm in this section. <laughs> I'm off on a tangent. Um, I'm in this section where cuckoo clocks and then Christmas ornaments and everything handmade, wooden. And I'm just like. I don't know, I'm in, in like a fantasy land, just remembering my childhood and and like the little elf houses and little tiny houses my grandparents had and my mom. And and so I'm just kind of getting emotional. Then I come across a whole section of these guys. Um, and I just placed a massive order from a website that's, that sells these. And I'm like, I walked away from the section. I was like, I don't want to spoil it for myself. Like they're already coming in the mail. I could have bought them here, but I already ordered them and I didn't want to I didn't want to like spoil my unboxing of them because I saw I was like, "Oh god. Okay, I'm not going to look. They're already on their way. I already paid like duties and taxes and everything good. And so they're coming. And I don't want to ruin it." Anyway, so I ordered, <laughs> I've already unboxed this one and I've saved the rest to share here with you. Um, now this is another example of just the craftsmanship of these pieces. Now this is actually a, what are these things called? Like a incense, cone incense. 
And this is in the scent, I think it's rosemary clove or something. Oh. So, so good. I can't figure out how to burn these things properly. And I do think that there's not enough oxygen getting to it, so it burns out easier. So I drilled a little hole in the back <laughs> to see if I could get more oxygen in there. Um, but I don't think it works like that <laughs> because it goes out after about like five minutes it's out, but it's fine. At least I know it's not gonna like burn all night and burn the house down, but it comes with this little like perfect little incense burning spot. But look at this, just Santa in his workshop, just doing things, loading up a sleigh, adorable. So that is the other piece. That's one of the first pieces that I unbox and the rest are still in little boxes. So we're gonna unbox them together. I'm so excited. I almost feel like I kind of want to put these on the tree as I unbox them, similar to what I did with my Wedgwood unboxing. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see them. I think my lights are too bright. I cannot see, but these are all ornaments. And another thing that I like about these specific ornaments is that Every one of these strings is removable, so you actually can put it, you could set it up like a little village if you want to. It doesn't have to have, it doesn't have a hole in it where it's clearly meant to be an ornament. You kind of do whatever you want. So cute and so European. And obviously this one is not an ornament, but it is, Precious nonetheless. So I'm going to put it somewhere. Um, okay. So <laughs> let me just grab some of these boxes. So I've got one, two, three, four, five boxes to unbox. <laughs> so I went crazy because when I get obsessed with something, I buy a lot of it. And that's just, it's a fault of mine. And this is a collection. And this is something that I can use for years to come. I'm gonna keep the boxes, keep everything very organized uh, so that in the future I can unbox it and use it year after year. And that's just what I tell myself. And I spent way too much money Again, because I'm so freaking nostalgic, it's ridiculous. So I'm gonna start by unboxing. I need to move this so that, nope, that's probably not a good idea. I'm just gonna put them down here so I can focus individually on each ornament. Now, if you're following me or listening to me on audio, not video, you're gonna to wanna to watch the video version of this. So just go to Kitty Liquor <laughs> Podcast and type in episode 114. Then you'll be able to follow along visually. I'll do my best to kind of describe it to you if you're listening, but um, here we go. And I don't remember what I ordered. So this is as exciting for me as it is for you. I swear, I'm, I'm gonna like try not to cry every time I open an ornament, like this is crazy. Okay, so here is this guy, a little skier. Here's the backside. The detail is just so adorable. The face on the sun. He is just precious. And I think I ordered like a little girl version skiing too. But I mean, just, and I know I'm being like super emotional, but it's special to me because these are not, like I said, they're not cheap and they're kind of meant to 
passed down. One day I'm going to be a little old lady and I'll be like, don't forget to check out my Grofner ornaments. <laughs> don't forget about them. They were expensive. <laughs> So, oh yeah, I said I was going to describe to you. Um, it's like a little boy skiing. There's a tree and some clouds. And there's depth because there's another little wave below him. It just is precious. And I'm love. Okay, we're going to open the next one. Oh my God, this is the one that I saw that I was like... So as you know, I am Dutch. The little horse is loose, but it's still somehow in the right position. <laughs> oh shit. So obviously these things are super precious and very fra- Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm gonna put the horse back kind of in its position. It's just gonna be standing there. There is a literal piece of gold on the floor of this ornament. I'm going to try to show you without the horsey falling off. <laughs> if I touch it, it's going to go. I'm just going to hold it. So here we have the windmill, the duchiest ornament of all. Now this little horse is loose but I can easily I've got some Gorilla Glue just glue him back on and look at the metal like it's like a piece of gold or something down here and I don't know what that's about it must be some sort of so I'm not going to put this on the tree just because I don't want to lose this little guy but how fragile and precious and the little guy oh Oh, he's also coming loose. Okay, so she was looking, my little Dutch girl, or boy, was looking a little bit, um, here's the horsey. And they stand so straight. Can you see this? <laughs> anyway, um, he's looking a little topsy-turvy there, but if I just put a bit of glue, then I can straighten him out. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of maintenance on this one. I'm going to put her, him, right here. Okay. I'm going to save this tissue paper as well so that I can rewrap these guys. Remove my second layer of fluff. Okay, here we go. What the? Did I? Did I order two of these? Oh, I did. Duh. I ordered one for my brother and my sister too. So, okay. So this one, the horse is also busted off, but look at, if you look at closely, it's so very dainty and super easy to fix. So before I gift these to my brother and my sister, I'm going to fix them because <laughs> we're all little duchies and we all need matching ornaments. Okay. So... This one is not, I think, so there is going to be a third windmill. One for me, one for my sister, one for my brother. Oh my God. Look at their faces. They're perfect. And they're little candlesticks or whatever the hell they're holding. <sighs> I love it. I just, I still can't, every piece, <laughs> I'm like, <gasps> just so beautiful. Okay. Can you still see up here? Okay, good. It's not going to be how I'm going to keep it, but we're just going to keep them where you can see the magic and the beauty. So this box will be dedicated to these two 
windmills so I can fix them. And I'll put that here on top of my candy cane dirt. <laughs> All right, the second box full of ornaments. Here's the first one. Okay, so we got Santa, and notice how the the little rocking horse he's working on is slightly painted, and his little wood working table has got tools and things on it. Oh, oh my God! Okay, okay, the wood. Oh. The woodworking table has one of the, see the horse that he's building, the rocking horse? There's another horse head on the table getting ready to be made. Like that, that takes thought and effort. Oh my God, it's getting to me. <laughs> it's not just the booze. Oh, maybe it's a little bit. Just the little precious pieces. Anyway, I know this is in the back, of course. The little shutters are also painted in the back. So if you have a swinging ornament on the tree, you know, it looks great from all angles. And I could imagine, you know, on a lighted tree where this, the light would shine through the ornament and sort of mimic maybe starlight, sunlight. <laughs> so here is it compared to my other one. So exact same kind of template, different scene. Um, I'd love this guy to sit somewhere here. Can you see him still fairly? No, you can't. Okay, we're gonna try to get them all in here so you can see them. I need this guy. Sorry if you can't see that one. You saw it up close anyway. All right, oh, this one is a different shape. This is fun and nostalgic. I need, oh, <laughs> no, it's my third one, my third windmill. And Horsey is busted off. So I'll just show you again, up close. <laughs> okay, the Horsey turned into a unicorn and decided to take off. Um, I'm gonna leave the horse there actually right now just because otherwise I have to get up and expose to you what I'm wearing on my bottom half, which is pink booty shorts <laughs> that are stained. I washed them with like darks and now they're kind of pink and black. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna keep that. All right, so the windmills are out of the way. All three horses were busted off, but Okay, so, oh, we have another little, the sleigh popped off. <gasps> One of the elves is headless. <laughs> oh my God, and he's got a little beard. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> this is not gonna work. <laughs> now remember, these came all the way from Germany, so I'm not mad. And this is all very fixable stuff. I've got, like I said, you got to get yourself some clear Gorilla Glue and it's not, it's, it takes a little bit longer to dry, but if you have anything um, small or like woody, <laughs> it works really well. So I'm going to show you without the missing pieces here, what I got going on. So this is similar template, the little house. Hopefully it's focusing for you. Now I have a headless elf. This is the head of the elf. I'm just gonna lean it on there. He's a little tired, okay? That's all that's going on. He just needs a break. He's been working way too much. And then this little sleigh is what broke off here. 
so I could see exactly where it's supposed to be. It's a little sleigh that's so like precious and tiny. Okay. <sighs> Going into the fix bin. Not a problem. It's just a little fun project for later. All right, another one. Now, <laughs> in the back, of course, the shutters are painted, but you guys, <laughs> the detail. So we have a little elf with a toy duck that you can ride, a little zebra, kind of looking like a little elf in the background, a little toy car at the top. There's some blocks, and it's just the most precious thing. <laughs> This might be one of my favorites. I just can't with the detail. And the little blue roof. Oh. Oops. One of our ornaments did a 360. The good thing with fake trees, you could just manipulate the branches so that they go wherever you want them to. <laughs> Um, this guy, I'm going to put here. I know it seems crazy right now, but just I have method to my madness. And you need support from your fellow branchmen. I just don't want it to twist around. I mean, you guys have already seen it, but... Okay. And... I think the last small ornament, and then we're going to move on to some bigger stuff. <laughs> so, elf down. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. <laughs> it looks like this elf is, just, is in possession of a firearm. <laughs> work it oh my god it's a boot so let me just show you <laughs> let me just show you what I'm seeing here okay so here we have our little elf um what exactly is he working on <laughs> what is he working on hmm? it's an upside down boot okay you sickos it's not a fire <laughs> that would be crazy um because and I know it's a boot because that's all he's working on in his workshop so I'm gonna hold this up so that he'll kind of be balanced on his legs to do a little bit of maintenance on this guy but he's got boots he's working on you see them all brown boots black boots he's got a sewing machine <laughs> That'd be so funny if just this company like was so just cookie cutter and like adorable and then they just would make one when they were just like a murderous elf. Oh my god, that would be funny. And that is kind of German humor too. They're kind of sick. Like the Dutch. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so it's gonna go in the little repair pile. I believe that's it for my ornaments and now I don't really remember <laughs> what I ordered um, on the side but there's little images of what I what they are on the side so this is called the no I can't read it it's German the Luchter Engel the angel Luchter? I don't know what that means. <gasps> Why does it smell so good? Oh, 
This is another incense. Look at this. So we have an angel in front of like a nighttime scene and she's feeding, she's feeding the deer and the birds and the squirrels and the squirrel is eating little acorns. And so the incense goes right here. And if I just hold it up next to This little scene, it kind of is a continuation and similar color scheme. Oh. You guys gotta get to this website. And you know, if, you, if you're if you kind of sentimental about Christmas and you wanna gift somebody like something that they're gonna look after and take care of and bring out every year and think of you, why not go for like the ultimate quality? And I'm not saying this is like super expensive stuff. Like these ornaments are around $30 Canadian each, which is a very expensive price. But if you're investing in your Christmases for the future, you're investing in quality. And I don't know, that's just my, my take on it. Okay, we got a big boy. This one is... <gasps> The Pyramid Weihnachtsmann. So I'm actually probably going to grab a tea light for this because these are interactive. <laughs> Meaning, ooh, don't want to just reach into this box. Look at that. You're going to get stabbed. So here is the top of the ornament. Now, I guess, oh, perfect condition. So I guess this sits on top of the little scene and the heat from the candle makes this thing spin around. Now, I saw multiple versions of this in Edelweiss, Edelweiss Village, but not from this company, from lots of other, um, German brands, I guess. Oh my God. It came with a tea light. I don't have to go run downstairs. Woo! Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Let's just take a breath. So I'm going to show you the scene first. As you can see, this is just spinning around beautifully. Now, this is Santa on snowshoes. We got... He's heading to his sleigh. The North Pole Express is back here. And I'm just really impressed by how this spins. <laughs> um, it's sitting on a like piece of glass. <laughs> anyway, the North Pole Express is back here and we got, he's going to a sleigh and he's about to, I don't know, take his sleigh for a test drive. And what I'm gonna do, and I hope it, if it has to sit on something, okay, I'll go like this, if you can see it. Now, this, I believe, is just supposed to very gently sit on there. <laughs> Magic! You guys! Okay, so when I light this candle, it should just sort of go on its own. Do I have my lighter? It's here. Oh, box in the icing. Good thing the top hardened. Oh yeah, there we go. Damn it. Sticky icky. Okay, the bottom of the chair, that's what that's for, right? Okay, so she's lit.
What a piece of shit. <laughs> I wonder if I can will it to spin. I don't want to give it breath because I don't want to cheat. Okay, I'm gonna visualize it spinning. Nope. <laughs> it's just gonna be a matter of balance, I think. Not there. Either way, I still love it. I'll probably need to get it like on a very even surface. Because even if I just blow on it. Yeah, it needs, it shouldn't take so much effort. figure it out and you my dear you're gonna go on top of the candle and maybe I'll start spinning when this fire really picks up the pace okay we have two things left no we don't so this is the angel we unbox that already and oh my god this is the last one All right. Ooh. Hraubner. Hraubner. I didn't look at what it is just because I wanted to be even more of a surprise. Another beautiful little incense burner. Now these are more expensive. These ones I believe are closer to about $70. I just love the little colors, how they all work together. I'll figure it out. I'll find a sweet spot. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> For those of you listening, you're like, crickets, like, what's going on? You have to just watch the video version. I tried to explain as best I could, okay? No, I could have probably done a better job. I was just too, like, enamored by what was going on. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> I guess that episode was just me unboxing stuff. Um, okay, so last uh, week I couldn't post because... So I've been doing a bit of traveling. As you may have noticed, I've got my final veneers on, which I'm totally in love with. Um, I That was so many trips back and forth to Calgary. Um, not a big deal. It's all It was all planned, nothing unexpected, but... Um, it just became a lot uh, just because I'm doing my uh, studio right now. It's being painted as we speak, but there was a lot involved with um, decision making and kind of last minute stuff that my two days that I kind of allot for filming were full with just other things that were going on. And I just, I couldn't make it work. And I just, I would hate to try to rush and film an episode really quickly and get it out there. I'd rather just wait until I can, like, allot the time needed for an episode. Um, and you guys are going to, like, some of my choices in this loft for finishing are a little bit out there. <laughs> I 
I was explaining to my painter what I wanted. And he's like, okay. Yeah. I mean, he was really good, right? Him, I think it's him and his brother. But um, no, I shouldn't say that they were even that, like, taken aback. But I, I just kind of like, I was maybe more nervous to tell them what my plans were. Um, that I was reading into it a bit. But so it's being painted as we speak. And I've got a bathroom up there, so I'm choosing finishes for that. I got to get like all my stuff sort of organized and in a timely fashion so that things can flow and I can get in there as soon as possible, which is happening very soon. Um, and I've got some like storage units I want to order from Ikea and things that are like, I specifically designed the space around, so I have to get on that. Um, and then there's little things that happen in between where I'm like, I could be filming like this and somebody comes knocking at the door because they need, a, they have a question. So I'm like, I've got to like, it's a little bit disturbing, but it's all for the best, my future and my future doing this. So I'm excited. This thing has got to spin. It just has to be a hundred percent straight. Like I can smell the balsam. See, look at this. Is that, see, it's like burned underneath. Okay, I have to be careful here. It's literally right in the middle, right where it should be. Is it going the other way now? As long as it's spinning, it's not going to burn on one spot. I got to make sure that it's like 100% spinning. Oh, it well, I just need an, an even level surface and then I can like commit to taking my eye off of it. Also, um, just in case you were curious, because I brought it up before, I now am the proud mother of three jumping spiders. Three regal jumping spiders. How did I wind up with three? I ordered one. Now I have three. That story will be in the next episode <laughs> of Kitty Liquor, episode 115. And you should tune in because it's going to be wild. <laughs> Hello? Do I have to get it started? I think I have to get it started and then it just keeps going. Okay, we're getting the hang of this. They make them, by the way, they're, they're this tall. There's like six different layers and then there's like people that spin and dance over here and then the next layer is like horses that are like galloping and then the fourth layer is like birds that are pecking and it's like it's all being m moved by heat heat waves <laughs> exciting i hope you guys didn't think this is super cheesy or think that i'm like an emotional wreck because <laughs> literally i was like really trying hard not to cry <laughs> But it just is so, like, if there was Christmas music playing, like, any type of Christmas music, like, classic Christmas stuff, I wouldn't be able to keep it together. So I just, <laughs> anyway, I want to say thank you to all of you for tuning in to my latest episode, episode 114 of Kitty Liquor. I'm Cat Wonders, and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you own any pieces like this, what you thought of this episode and uh don't forget to like it if you did like it no pressure if you didn't but i'm hoping that you did um and subscribe i'm still a new channel here i've been around for a while but kitty liquor is like a new a new thing <laughs> i'm just so like fascinated like wow physics crazy um 
So yeah, subscribe. Don't miss any future episodes. I'll be back again next week for another episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. That's L-I-Q-U-O-R. Don't get it twisted. Bye.